Hi guys, so I finally took my HESI exam last week and thank God I got a 90% on it even though I only studied for one week because I had so much exams on the other classes that I'm taking and I had so much going on in my life and so thankfully I got the right resources to study for it and so I'm going to be sharing to you guys the resources that I used to ace my exam in one week. So I'm going to be going through each subject that I took and what resources really really helped me and what resources really 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 weren't useful. So so starting off with math, for me math was the easiest and no, I am not good in math. Like math had always it's always been my lowest grades when I was elementary and high school. So if you're not blessed with like math skills like me, you will still ace your math exam. The only resources that were useful for me were the HESI admission assessment book and the Quizlet, which I'll be linking down below. The math portion of the Elsevier book is really helpful in terms of refreshing your memory. I feel like I really just forgot about like adding basic fraction and like decimals, so it really helps me and if you're like me, then you will definitely find the math portion of the book really, really helpful. So you gotta know how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, fractions, decimals, ratios, and then you also have to know how to convert fractions into decimals and decimals into fractions or like fractions to ratios or like percentage. The last part of the math portion of the Elsevier book, you will have your conversions there which you will greatly need for your exam. I also suggest that you look into the Gallon Man and the King Henry Die by Drinking Chocolate Milk because I had a lot of questions which were converting pints into quarts and quarts into ounces or like cups. So really check that one out as well. For the Quizlet, I legit had word to word questions in my exam so definitely definitely study it like familiarize everything go over it solve all the items in the quizlet and make sure that you know how to do this how to do that and put it on your head because you will need it for your exam for anatomy and physiology the Elsevier book will serve as like a brief um like a brief overall of each system you know what I mean? Kind of like a refresher, I would say, but it definitely won't give you your answers to the questions on your exam. As for me, it did not help me at all. So if I were not to really study on the Elsevier book anatomy section, then I would probably still get a 90% on my anatomy just because it wasn't really big of a help. So just saying, um, just focus on other things in the book like the math because that was really helpful but what you will need though is this quizlet that i'll be linking down below as well and same with math i also saw like i also had like questions in my hesi that were word to word and that were really um just the same it wasn't like word to word but it was like the same question so I'm telling you, go and check that Quizlet out because it's really, really helpful. And if you can't memorize it, at least familiarize it because it will surely, like, surely help you. Another resources that I got for anatomy and physiology was Nurse Hub, and I think you can sign up for like twenty-five dollars. But it was really, really helpful too because I saw some questions that were also in my exam, and so it really is a worth it purchase and I also heard about um, Nurse Hub being helpful for like biology, chemistry, physics, and grammar. So definitely if you have or if you are going to be taking chemistry, biology, all of those then definitely look into Nurse Hub. So for critical thinking I did not study because you know I thought that it was like basic protocols and like basically just common sense on what you would do if you were a nurse something like that but then I was like a few hours before my exam I was like you know what let me just look up like 
on Quizlet, Hesse Critical Thinking. And I'm telling you, this Quizlet that I'm gonna be linking down below will have the same exact questions on your Hesse. Like literally, like same exact questions. Like I would say like 80% of what's in the Quizlet will also show up in your question well as for me it was like not question but exam so for reading and comprehension i really to be honest like i really didn't a lot much time into studying reading and comprehension just because i know that the passages on the exam will be different but then but then when i was taking my exam i i knew that the passages were kind of familiar and i was like wait what i think this is the exact same passage I saw from the Quizlet so I swear Quizlet oh my god I feel like my whole video is like about Quizlet but I'm just telling you like it really helped me so I really want to talk to you about it but really like I would say like 40% of what was in my exam were from that Quizlet and so you can check it out too maybe it will come out in your exam because that really helped me a lot too. There were a lot of um, conclusions and like, what is the main idea? How is this word being used in the passage? I thought reading comprehension would be very bad because I hate reading comprehension. They just bore me out, but it was just basic. It's pretty straight to the point. So I'm pretty sure you're gonna do good. Um, I think that's basically it. So good luck to whoever is taking his or her exam. I know that you guys will ace it and if you found this video helpful then definitely give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of food videos and workout videos because I love food and I also like to work out and also my nursing journey so subscribe and stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, bye!